Over the next 30 minutes, we're reflecting on the aftermath of the tragedy on 9-11. First, we turn to the victims, their families and survivors. While most of us can remember what we were doing on that fateful day, WFMY News 2's Avery Powell spoke with people who say they can't forget it, including one man who escaped from the burning towers. John Secura and Heidi Wallace each have unique stories about what they went through on September 11th, 2001. It was a day both of them could retell vividly to me even 20 years later. These images seared into the minds of Americans 20 years later, but especially for the people who witnessed it firsthand. We were enveloped in the debris and uh, could breathe and thought really that was kind of the end. John Secura was working in the World Trade Center on September 11th. He was on the 81st floor when the plane hit the building. I thought initially it was a bomb and then based on a feeling of a, of a really acute sharp impact, I thought maybe an elevator had fallen from, you know, one floor to another. Sakira and several other co-workers helped a woman in a wheelchair get down more than 60 floors right before the building collapsed. The reality was we were so focused on helping somebody else that not only were we not worried about ourselves, but we were empowered by this sense of purpose. In Washington, D.C., Heidi Wallace was working at the Washington Post when the plane hit the Pentagon. There were all sorts of rumors flying around about, you know, the White House was next, the Capitol was next, the State Department was next. There were actually rumors that the State Department had been hit. Wallace says phone lines were tied up so she couldn't reach her mother and getting home to Virginia became difficult. The subway station is actually completely on the other side of the Pentagon from where the plane hit, but we could smell it. You know, like I said, the smoke started filling up the plane, the, the train, and they had to go through there kind of fast so that it wouldn't get too filled up. And while the years have passed for both Wallace, who now lives in King, and Sakira, who lives in Raleigh but was visiting Greensboro Saturday, the impact is profound. It still makes you think a little bit more about really how close you are to being caught up in something like that. I feel supremely grateful. Uh, I feel a sorrow for people who are lost. I feel such gratitude for first responders that helped. I feel grateful for being here. While Heidi described the fear many felt during that time, John also mentioned the sense of community in the country following 9-11. He called it a, quote, magical time out of a really horrible event.